Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and today I'm going to talk about a really an important sensitive uh, topic, uh, but before I do that, somebody asked me, tell me, Moshe, do you wear the same clothes every single day? I've seen you with this red shirt three days in a row. No, don't worry, I don't wear the same clothes every single day. I take showers, I brush my teeth, I'm a very, very clean person. What I do is I make, I record my videos one after the other, and then I release them uh, every single day. Uh, that's just easier for me and it gives me something to do while I'm driving because I love driving. Anyway, all clean shaven. <laughs> um, uh, more than 900 people the other day broke the um, uh, Guinness World Record by sailing on, like, like, you know, on a surf, by surfing, by surfing, uh, into, uh, you know, maybe a mile or two into the Mediterranean Sea off the coast uh, in Israel, where I'm from, protesting the construction of a oil rig, a natural gas rig in, in the Mediterranean. Uh, as I don't know if you've been following this news, but off the coast of Israel, tremendous deposits of natural gas were found in the last 20 years and Israel became like a natural gas superpower uh, in the Middle East and for uh, for local consumption and for export and there's a lot of people who are opposed to building these oil rigs in 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 front of the uh, coastline of Israel uh, people are worried about um, pollution obviously about leakage explosion um, look um, Let's just talk about facts. Uh, we all remember the horrific uh, Exxon Valdez oil spill of the coast of Alaska and the tremendous, tremendous um, uh, damage, ecological, environmental damage it caused. Uh, the uh, horrific, horrific uh, explosion of the um, the Gulf Coast of uh, Louisiana uh, by BP, the BP oil spill. It took like I think well, like a month just to cover that hole, which released so millions of gallons of oil into the ocean. Uh, oil spills happen all the time. Uh, as a matter of fact, many many oil rigs in the North Sea off the coast of England, the, uh, the, the um, you know, uh, Norway, the Scandinavian countries are being abandoned in favor of um, a windmills on the ocean and inland. Uh, I released a video yesterday about how Texas is leading the country in green uh, energy and in, especially in windmills. Uh, look, there is zero, zero chance of environmental uh, uh, um, ramification catastrophe from an oil, from, an, from a, a windmill. A windmill does not cause any environmental uh, uh, spill or contamination or anything is as clean as it can be all right if it breaks and falls that's it i mean you can fix it and that's it when an oil rig is exploding or leaks the ramifications are are horrific not to the local area only but to entire areas whether it's in the ocean and on inland i don't get it i don't understand it i just go back to israel which is where i'm from where i'm born and raised Israel has 95% of the year sun, okay? You can power the whole Middle East with the sun, all right? And I don't understand that. And countries, countries who are now moving towards uh, wind energy, which is by far the cleanest, very efficient and very predictable. The wind blows day and night, not unlike the sun, uh, um, is, is the cleanest, the, the best jobs, the most it's it's one of the most solar and wind is the biggest growing job in america a hundred percent ninety five percent uh it, it's just mind-boggling to me why 
we would invest in the old economy of oil rigs uh, and not in, in the, now the good news is that many states and many countries around the world are abandoning this and I hope that it will be completely uh, 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 abandoned and all these workers these wonderful workers and technicians who work on oil rig can start working on, and many of them do many of them do to start working uh, uh, building and maintaining uh, windmills which never spill they just spin they just spin all day long that's all they do and it's amazing there's no danger there is there it's like a win win wind for everybody it's unbelievable this is a very sore subject to me uh, 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 and to us because this is something that we can transition from the easiest way in the Middle East and even some you know Gulf state that leading the world in oil production are moving towards solar panels the biggest solar panel farms uh, I think it's in Morocco in Morocco uh, which is, is a sun abandoned place so this is something that we should all continue to encourage and all continue to do by and I know in my state in New Jersey you can demand to get your electricity to the house from a renewable that's what I do I switched from to uh, a, a renewable energy source in my house so everything that I get that is not for my solar panel come from a clean source and we can all do that and as I tell you in many of my videos I believe in the economy I believe in free markets I believe in, in, in capitalism and I believe that the people eventually force policies not the other way around all right so share with me any information you got Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. And support my awesome channel by becoming a patron. See you tomorrow, guys.